Hey guys, uh, something I've been doing recently is getting mods for San Andreas on the PC, and um, I want to show you right here this program. It's called San Andreas Mod Installer, uh, aka Sammy. I don't know if anybody calls it that, but that's how it's spelt. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really easy to install mods. Um, first, you're gonna need to get your uh, San Andreas now I got it through a torrent <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say I did that but um, yeah I don't recommend it I'm not promoting it I'm just saying you know yeah make sure you have like version 1 I think of San Andreas whenever you download it I'm not gonna include any links to the torrent or anything like that I'm just gonna include links to how to get the mod installer and all that uh, I'm pretty sure I got it from GTAinsider.com, but I'm just gonna go look and uh, I'll put the link up. I'm not gonna show you like me getting it because I already have it, as you can tell. But yeah, um, we're gonna open up the internet and it's GTAinsider.com. That's what it is, and you can get your mods from like here or anywhere else, pretty much. Uh, there's a bunch of websites that have it. Um, like I'm gonna get a car or truck, you know, doesn't matter. They got like everything. Uh, here's all the brands of vehicles. I'm gonna leave the link to this website as well. Uh, so we'll look under Chevrolet. And I like this one a lot because it shows you the picture that way you don't have to click a link and then see the picture you know you just scroll through and it has all of them that way you can see the car and see if you want it I'd like to get this one so I'm gonna download it and sometimes you have to click here because it doesn't download immediately like it says <coughs> once it downloads make, make sure you have WinRAR or WinZip and I'm gonna extract this to my desktop. There's all the files, and then I think Firefox is gonna crash. Never mind. And I just clear my download list because that way I keep it all clean. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna um, make a folder for this. I think it was like a Camaro or something. It doesn't matter. It's just so you know what to click and then drag all the folders that came with the download into there. And then open up your San Andreas mod installer. Click install mod. Click folder. Because you're getting it from a folder, not a zip. Um, and then click browse. Click Camaro. And then click OK. And then continue. And usually, if you if you don't get past this point, it's going to come up with a message saying it's not compatible or you don't have your DFF file or whatever TXD. Uh, then that means you can't use it. But most of the time, it works. Uh, we're going to replace it with the Buffalo, and I'm just going to call it Camaro. I don't even, I don't even know if that's what it was. Let me look. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what you call it. Yeah, Camaro. That's just that's just letting you know whenever you want to uninstall it what you saved it as, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna exit because with my screen recorder now it's not gonna it's probably not gonna let me uh, play it but I have a different one I can do that later on, but <clears throat> I'm just gonna exit sorry about that, and I'm gonna delete that that uh, folder because you don't need it anymore it's already installed into the game, and there you go, you now can open up your San Andreas. I'm just gonna show you where you can find it at. You go to computer. For this is for Vista users. OSC program files x86. I have 64 bits. So I don't know if it would show up on anybody using 32 bits. Uh, San. Wait, that's your mod installer. Don't click that. Click Rockstar Games, GTA San Andreas, and then your your icon will be here. Um, I haven't created a shortcut on my desktop because if you do that the crack that's into the game like it doesn't some somehow it doesn't work whenever you open it up in a different location but yeah just double click that and you'll be all set 
that's about the easiest way I found that you can install mods in the San Andreas. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll leave the links. And thanks for watching, guys.